Duval County election officials are double checking the primary election results today. An audit of the election count is going to take place this afternoon. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott is live at the election center to show us why this is happening and how it's going to be conducted. Jim. You know what's going to happen in about an hour. They are going to begin to conduct that audit here at the election center. Now, they're not going to recount the whole election here. They're actually only looking at one race and one precinct. The race they're looking at is for Council District 9. That's the one where uh, Tyrona Clark Murray won. And ironically, she was just sworn in today. And they're only looking at one precinct. At precinct 904, which is on the northwest side of Jacksonville. And what they're going to do is look to see if there are any discrepancies when they recount this by hand to see if it matches what was sent in 10 days ago. Now, I just talked to Robert Phillips, the chief election officer here, about what they hope to learn from this and what will happen. If there's a problem, we try to find the root of it. Uh, we can always go back to any of the forms and, and find out if maybe something was uh, filled out wrong or if a ballot may have been mishandled at the precinct. But we're pretty confident they'll come out 100 percent accurate. Uh, we've been doing this for over 10 years. We do an audit after every single election. Uh, so far, almost everyone except one have always come out about to be 100 percent accurate. And, you know, there are a lot of people watching this midterm election, a lot of eyes. So transparency is important, and that's why they believe these audits are important as well. Even though it's small, it will let people know. Now, coming up at 5, we're going to have the results of this and what happens here. For now, we're live in the north, on the north side at the Election Center. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.